Hi there, this is Chris. In another video, we look at how to simply change the text um, on our website using Elementor Page Builder. In this video, we're going to change this heading. Now, um, this is gonna have its own video very quickly because this element is called a dual uh, color heading. And it's it's one that is used quite often on the quick starts. It's, it's very easy to use and it's very beautiful. Uh, so if we click on Edit with Elementor, what I want to show you is that uh, if you're looking at the heading that's available on your quick start and you really want to change it up, uh, we're just going to go through that process. So this is how to edit the dual color heading. So at this moment, I think uh, I'm quite happy with this, uh, a place where you can go to escape and relax. What I think I would like to do is just bring focus to one word which communicates uh, what the picture is really really communicating. Now it does say es uh, escape and relax and that's what this lady looks like she's doing uh, but I think I want to focus on the relax. So what we're going to do is change a place where you can go to, um, I don't think we even need go to, we're going to uh, write a place where you can escape and all oh, that one, hmm, I'm going to go with the word and then what we're going to do is actually do away with the need for the dual color heading, um, but uh, that doesn't matter. So I'm going to delete the title, the first part of the title, and now we're left with the word relax. Now I quite like this. Uh, so a place where you can escape and relax. So now what we would like to do is change the text and the color. So if you remember, we go over to style and scroll on down to color and typography. So now we can change the color of both the title and also the subtitle. This here is the subtitle. So let's do the subtitle first. I think I would like to change it. I think we're gonna go with white first off. And then we have the word relax and I would like to change the typography of that also. Uh, so first I will select the color. There we go. Now that's obviously not the, the right font for what we're trying to communicate. So I'm going to click on typography and now we have the family here. And I have one in mind. I want something a little bit scripty. Um, that's not what we're looking for. So you can see you just, you just like in a word processor, you just click on a few different ones and, and see what you think <laughs> is the right one. Um, I won't take too long to select one here for the sake of example. Um, see if we can find something half right, at least at this point. But just bear in mind, this is something you're very able to do yourself. I think that's almost something we would stick with. Um, actually, I'm going to stick with that for the time being. I would like to increase its size, so um, I'm going to pull that up and then if we go to content uh, we can actually hold down shift and enter and that gives us a bit more space there going back to the style I want to go to color and typography go to the subtitle and I want to change this to open sans and increase the size something like that. And if we wanted to get a bit more space as well, you can change the line height. Uh, so just toggle that there and that pushes that up and around. Um, I'm really not happy with that font, but Okay, I'm going. I'm happy to settle on this one for the time being. Um, increase that line height a little bit. Okay, so um, I feel a bit better about that. What I would like to do is go back to edit section and go to style because I would like to alter the background overlay a little bit. And I think what I want to do is, um, if you see here, we've got the opacity of this first color. There we go. Um, and then we have the general opacity. Um, I think what I would like to do is 
change this one to a white so it brings out that white there and then bring the opacity down a little bit just so it kind of i feel like that just contours it a little bit it brings focus into relax but we've got this color here as a gradient in the middle and it's just providing a bit more contrast so that we can read that writing so just for a quick customization of this section uh, we've actually used a number of things that we have in the separate videos. We've altered the background overlay, we've changed the text and the fonts, um, and we've changed the text color. And that's how quickly you can change elements on your page. This looks rather nice. In another video, we'll look at how to alter that button. Okay, thanks so much. Again, don't forget to click update. I'll see you in the next video.